Mikuni Corporation BS 36 SS carburetor rebuild for my Suzuki GSX 750F M991 model. I cleaned it. This took me only five and a half hours. Rebuild it. Right now, I'm gonna try to rebuild the carburetors. I have a manual, I have the whole plan here. And I have a rough guide on where to get to. Let's go. I believe is a casting problem. It just doesn't want to come in. Why though? Why? I mean, look at that. Every single seat is smooth. This one has a tiny bit sticking out here. This one is smooth. Smooth. Turn over there. Ah, the heck over here. It's not going in. If we look right in here, there is low metal pit. Oh, there, like a line. There is none of it here. You could definitely feel it if I screw up like that. I mean, the casting is only soft aluminium. Finally, I discovered what's the issue. It's all about the casting. This casting at the bottom here is a tiny bit rough so in comparison with all the others it's nice and smooth so let's say if I take this one out it is nice and smooth rough directly because of that roughness if you look at the bottom of the seat that's why it's getting a tiny bit of a damage in the plastic I'm essentially forcing that piece past this bumpy side. What we're gonna do is just gonna have a tiny tiny very gentle scrape. Right, let's see if that made any difference whatsoever. It's better than what it was before, but it's still slightly sticking out in comparison to all the rest.
Whoa. Finally, I received some post. I received all the bolts. Replacement needles, they have a different number. They're like Y301, uh, but they are replacement for 5EZ61. I will prepare these needles, which is meaning to put all of those uh, little washers on. Now when I have four needles ready, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get ready my uh, bolt set. Load the height around 14.6, I'm happy with that. Pop all these bolts back in the original place. I'm gonna use uh, a blue gasket maker. I'm only gonna put a tiny bit. Oh, and that's gonna go back with this, um, this one first. Right, now when I have every single nut in place, screwed in, all we're gonna do, I'm just gonna give a tiny bit of a nudge to make sure that they're very tight. Now every single nut is tightened, dropping a needle. The needle is now in the place. Before putting the cap on, I just want to make sure that all of this rubber sits correctly into the seat. Remember the rubber. Now I gotta put the cap back on. Once everything lined up, I put the bolts in. both sides and then I'll tighten them up one at a time keep them going till these specific washers will stretch and the claps just like these ones on themselves so where's the washer? Nice claps in And that's in and I will repeat the process with every single one, every single bolt, every single needle, every single spring. With this screw, the difference is that it has this metal seat. Bolt is still the same length. The only difference is that it doesn't have a that claps and wash on itself. So that's ready to go. So there's no fuel coming from this end, only air. Uh, the only thing is what I replace is just the old clamp because it's obviously out of a shape since I removed it. Alright, and I just could slide this clamp down. Reattach that piece here. The last thing to left to do is just reattach my fuel hoses. Cooney Corporation, made in Japan. There's a stamp for it, Carburetta, which is BSD36SS. Took me a couple days, next task. But there is over four hours recording to get cut down.